Yo guys, so I am deviating from the usual car video because today I'm actually getting new parts from my computer. So I've been using my girlfriend's laptop for the past, how long has it been babe? Like, too long. Too long. I haven't had a powerful PC in God knows how long and probably more like three years then. So what I got here today is my new PC parts. I've actually got an old laptop. It's like the CPU is like last gen, super old. I think it's like, a, it's a, it's an X series FM2 or AM3 plus, but nonetheless, so it's old, you know, before the write-in. But I plan on actually reusing that, so I got a new motherboard and I got an SSD. And after I get all that wrapped up, I'm actually going to have a powerful PC. So if you guys want to come along and watch me build it? Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's right. Also. Uh, Disclaimer, it was an accidental order, so I got double the uh, amount of things I actually wanted. They said not to open the box up, but they came in the same box. <laughs> All right, oh, it's so beautiful, oof. This is nice, one of you guys are going back though, but this is nice, one of you guys are going back. Ah, too much money. All right, we're good. Alright, so these are all the donor parts I'm going to toss on that motherboard. The reason why I can't use this motherboard, even though it has an awesome like Wi-Fi card in it, is because the motherboard locked itself out because of the actual video card is not here anymore, the original one. So for some odd reason with this shitty pre-built computer is that because it doesn't have the OEM video card, it won't even start up, like at all. Like. I'll put my own video card in it and everything, and it'll lock itself out, won't put, like, you literally can't even toss in a new, like, OS system. So, just, really, it's better to get a new motherboard than deal with this really shitty micro ATX. This is an ATX motherboard, and this is a micro, so the ATX is not gonna fit in this case here. So what I'm gonna do for now is literally, like, toss this together with what I already have so far. This thing only costing me about 60 bucks. So that's not bad at all. I'm gonna put that right there. Awesome. So this is a AM3 Plus CPU. I think it's like 3.5 gigahertz. It's just an old CPU that they don't even like really carry any newer motherboards anymore. But yeah, this is about DDR3 RAM. So all this is just good enough for me for my video editing and maybe a little bit of gaming. Like there's nothing much to this PC other than that. As you can see, the cooler does not fit the motherboard for some reason, so... <sighs> Yo, so legitimately one day later, after ordering it, I got it. So, this never happened. Usually I get order like a two-day shipping from Amazon. It usually comes in like maybe two to three days, but... Dude, a day early, and what's really funny, today's my birthday, so... Yeah, dude, this is sick! So I get to finish my actual build, and let's get to it! Nice. This thing is huge.
right, so to actually get this started, because like I said before, this is a micro ATX tower, so I really can't fit that motherboard in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this power button and these audio jacks, including the 3.0 USBs. And what's really cool is that all it really is, is just wiring, just connected to certain parts of the chassis. Oh, look, there's a spider skin in there, gross. Anyways, yeah, it just all connects all into here. And what's awesome about this motherboard, because I didn't disconnect anything, it literally tells you what were the inputs. So that's obviously the USB 3.0, USB 1, USB 2, so on and so forth. So all I really need to do is match up whatever's on here onto this motherboard here. So as you can tell, it's exactly the same, see? It's gonna be really easy, real fun. Just literally just me taking apart this whole thing. So now that we got this removed, the USB 3.0 and all the audio jacks, literally just one screw right here and then I push forward. Now I need to go on the bottom and double check where it's running to. And you can see it's got the hook right there. It runs down all the way down to the motherboard. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. Let's do it. All right, so I knocked out the USB 3.0 and the audio drives. Now I got it right here. Audio drives the audio ports, which is awesome by the way. Now I can go and take apart this over here. So basically I need this for my, like my camera, memory cards and stuff like that. Nice. All right, another piece done and dealt with right here. All right, so I legitimately taken out every single possible part that I can use for right now. Like literally I have this wireless card right here, which I can definitely use later on on other projects. I got an extra fan here, which I can definitely utilize later. I got another CPU fan here. Yeah, that's basically it. Maybe a button battery if I ever like, if mine ever dies. You just never know. I'm using all these parts. I plan on actually, I know desk is a mess at the moment, but tossing it on the desk and see how that's gonna work out. I hope I don't, fry myself or anything, but we'll see what happens. It's made out of metal, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun project. I'm definitely gonna be down to do that with this. So yeah, let's jump into it. Yo guys, so what's up? Um, I'm actually right now figuring out that tossing it on the desk is actually probably a bad idea because you know, electricity gets conducted by metal and all that fun stuff. So I decided actually to take apart my little like makeshift nightstand I had for a time being. I plan on actually taking these apart and making a real nightstand, but for the right now, I thought it was a great idea to like actually put it in this. My room's a mess right now because I'm actually just really just in like tear down mode <laughs> because I want to get this over with. So right now though, because I actually want to get everything installed and start using it, I'm going to toss it on some cardboard in this, in this right here, toss in some cardboard and then just set up the motherboard, set up like the OS system, set up like the power, everything. Just to see like the feel of it, even if all these things I have work at all. So yeah, we're gonna do that right now, so let's get to it. Perfect. Alright guys, so this is it so far. All you need to do is get some zip ties and tie it up together, but 
Need to get the video card, I have it, and my old PC, which is on the floor over there. Okay, so now I have my USB 3.0s, my audio jacks. I got my 2.0 uh, USBs, I got the power button. I guess I couldn't connect the, you know, the wireless LED. For some reason, it doesn't have one of these. Maybe it does, I just really can't see the connection anywhere. But uh, nonetheless, it doesn't matter, it should still work. Got my SSD, got my 500 watt power supply. I think it's 500 watt. Yeah, it's about 300. And yeah, that to be honest, this is all I can really think about that you really need. And I got my monitor over there with my coffee. So yeah, guys, so right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the, the, the video card. <laughs> And I'm gonna connect the power supply and I'm gonna connect it to the desktop over here and we're actually gonna see if it works. So yeah, let's go. Man, that was hard to put in. <laughs> All right, so moment of truth. See what happens. Might might not work. No, oh, it turned on. <laughs> nice. I mean, this is probably a bad idea. I probably should have zip tied that. Oh shit. Oh, nice. Turned on. So we're looking for a BIOS, and we got it. So this is. This is beautiful. <sighs> all right, dude, I'm a happy camper. We got it working. So now, I, all I need to do now is get a USB drive, toss in Windows 10. I don't care if it's like the, the I don't care, I don't care. We'll get it, we'll get it working. <laughs> Yo, what's up? So I actually got Windows 10 on my flash drive now. This is actually legal, it's for free. You can actually go onto the website and download it onto a USB so you can actually mobile install Windows 10 on there and yeah so I'm gonna do that now and toss it in on my freaking computer crate <laughs> and let's get this thing started all right so we're gonna see if the flash up actually works when it's plugged into this I'm not too sure if this is gonna work or not and I think it works <laughs> that is legit so now we get to Okay, so I don't think it's reading it, so we're gonna try a different one. Okay, so F12. There we go, it read it! Yeah! Okay, so now we want the Kingston. Actually, do we want the Kingston? No, we don't want the Kingston, we want the sand disk. There we go. And it should load up Windows 10. So I'm gonna install that right now and then. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the trial version first, and then I'm gonna go and try to get my like Windows 10 key off my laptop, see if that's even possible, and then kind of try to put my codes in that. But again, this is gonna be very interesting. I'm really gonna like this new system I got going on, my my computer crate, crate computer. <laughs> but oh my god, it feels so good to actually have like a powerful PC again. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I'm gonna do this. This is my new editing rig, so hopefully you can see more videos coming out because the most work it takes to do a video is pre-production. Like literally shooting a video is fantastic, it's, but it's actually like putting everything down into a computer, editing it, make sure it's all nice and rendered properly, and then shoving it out. So shooting a video takes maybe an hour and a half or so, but editing probably takes four to five days. But this is going to fix my problem. and. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. All right guys, so it's been a few days later. I've already installed Windows 10, as you saw before. Um, I want to give you guys an update on the actual build itself. I'm in the middle of editing the actual video at the moment. So, to be honest, it's almost finished. Let me just zoom in on that. As you can tell, it's it's almost finished, but while I was editing it, I thought about, I'm like, I didn't show you guys the finished product, and I hate videos that don't show what they actually did. So I'm gonna, I added a couple things to the actual desktop crate that you guys would love to see because I had a big old <laughs> I actually had a really big problem with it overheating so I actually did this which is awesome 
And what, what it was is I added two desktop fans to it. So the extra fans I had on the other desktops, I actually zip tied them to the crate itself. And yeah, it's actually running really good on its own. And I just, I think this is like the funniest thing ever. And it's like blowing so much air in between this crate. And just, it's just beautiful, dude. So I might as well just show you the specs and see what I'm doing at the moment. I'm using an old HD Radeon 6670 for the video card. It's not good, but it's not bad at the same time. AMD FM6120 six core processor, 3.5 gigahertz. And I have about eight gigs of RAM. It's, pre not pre it's preferable for just basic tests, but for what I wanna use it for video editing, I might actually get 12. And this is it right here. I actually signed into my Google account, which actually has all my saved information, like my desktop background and all that fun stuff. But I'm actually able to play Insurgency, which I got for free recently, I got Premiere Pro. It's great, I, I really like this PC. It's better than using my laptop as a desktop, like I was doing before by using an HDMI connecting to the monitor. And it just feels amazing to have something I built personally and be able to use and edit my videos. But again, just wanna give you guys a rundown of how I actually did it. It's installed, don't have to worry about anything else. I'm using the trial version of Windows 10 because there's nothing wrong with it. You just can't make the taskbar disappear like I love so much on my other laptop. But other than that, it's doing fantastic. I will switch over the code sometime soon, but yeah. This is it guys, I wanna show you guys a finished product and this is it. It's running great. You can always, the reason why I did this is because you can recycle used items that don't work anymore. Like if you have a used desktop, Take it apart, find out what's in it, see if you can replace certain parts on it because you'd be surprised about old items still working just as good as the new ones. Like this is a 3.5 gigahertz desktop that was given to me by a friend because he didn't know how to fix it. So again, I just utilized what I had, bought the parts I needed, and instead of spending 900 bucks on a new desktop, I recycled two desktops and now I got a perfectly working computer for under 100 bucks. So again, if you guys like what you saw, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.